Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 16 perfumes that I think are signature scent worthy. So if you're new to fragrances or you're just looking for something to wear on the daily to associate with you that you don't have to think about, these are some fragrances that I think fit that category well. Not saying that others don't or if you have a perfume that you love that it's not signature scent worthy. These are just things that stand out in my collection that I, when I think of them or I smell them, I'm like, yeah, that could be something that someone wears every day for the rest of their life or every day until the bottle runs out and have no issues with it. So that's my interpretation of a signature scent. If you're curious, let's get into it. So let's start off with two from Mansara. The first one here, I do have the notes on the side of the screen here, so I apologize if I'm looking. I should probably scooch over as well so you can pop some up. So the first one is Coco Vanille. Coco Vanille, yeah. I don't know why that confused me for a minute. So this has top notes of coconut and white peach, middle notes of tiara flower, ylang ylang, and jasmine, base notes of Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and woody notes. This just smells, I don't want to say it smells young. Oh my God, there's a fly. Ah, go away. Okay, where did it go? I don't know. How many times is it going to come back before I kill it? I don't know. Um, anyways, this smells, I'm going to give it a spritz. Oh, this is a white floral musky coconut with a touch of juicy peach. It smells really, really nice. This smells like fun, fruity, uplifting. Like it's beautiful date for the daytime, but I also think this would work well with the nighttime. It does have like a powdery base to it as well. And I love a powdery scent. This is just so easy going and casual, and I think it would layer well as well. I think it's a nice kind of fruitier option as well. If you like kind of fruity sweet scents, this is, I think would be signature scent worthy. Another one from Mansara is Rose's Vanille. So Rose's Vanille, if I can pull up my scents on Fra Fragrantica, hold on. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so Rose's Vanille has top notes of Italian lemon, middle notes of Turkish rose, and base notes of vanilla, white musk, and cedar. This is a really nice rose fragrance. So if you like a, the smell of a rose, but it's not too intense and it's not too elderly, this is a really nice fragrance. This also reminds me of the Fenty Beauty perfume with a little bit more powder and I think I might recommend this over the Fenty Beauty one. Don't get me wrong, I love the Fenty Beauty fragrance but this one to me is a little bit of like a softer approach. It's perfect for every day. I think it's really nice and flattering. Like when you smell this you'd be like oh yeah that's a good perfume. So I think this is definitely signature scent worthy if you like roses that are warm, musky and kind of like inviting, kind of like a, a warm hug rose. So love that one. The next one is another kind of fruitier option. This one is from Versace and this is Crystal Noir. I don't have the cap on it because I don't keep the caps on very many fragrances, but this fragrance is a beautiful coconut. Like it's so nice. So this has top notes of pepper, ginger, and cardamom. Middle notes of coconut, gardenia, and orange blossom, and peony. Base notes of sandalwood, musk, amber. If you like coconut, you gotta get your nose on this. This is kind of like a sexy, sultry, musky coconut. And it's very, very delicious. It's very, like a creamy coconut. There's no lactonic notes in it. And it's not necessarily lactonic. It's like a creamy, vanilla, warm coconut. It smells really good in the day, it smells really good in the nighttime, and it has a really good staying power as well. It's very flattering. So if you want like an adult version of coconut, I would recommend this. Like this to me is like the big sister of this one. So if you want something that's a little bit more easygoing, 
fun, flirty, I'd recommend Coco Vanille. But if you want something that's a little bit more sultry, ambery, nighttime, Versace Crystal Noir. But I think both of them are a really good signature scents if coconut is your vibe. Let's talk about some vanillas. Alice Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. This is like top two vanillas and it's not two. I know this is a very polarizing fragrance. You either love it or you hate it. Now I'm firmly in the camp of love. So this has top notes of milk, jasmine, peony, and frangipani. Middle notes of bourbon vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, and ca cacao pod. Base notes of benzoin, amorous, musk, and sandalwood. So as you can see, I just have a small little dabber bottle here, but oh my god. This is the most creamy lactonic vanilla like you've ever smelled. Like think of like, I don't even know, like warm vanilla cookies and a, being dunked in warm milk with a little bit of cocoa in the back. Like maybe the cookies were made with a little bit of cocoa powder. It's divine. Divine. If you like commodity milk, this is a step up. It's a little bit more interesting and blended. That is like in my top five perfumes of all time. I think it's simply fantastic. And because I love it so much, that's what makes it a signature scent in my humble opinion. Another vanilla that's quite popular is from Zedig and Voltaire. This is her. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's really cute. It's kind of like an iceberg vibe. So this is a sweet kind of marshmallow, marshmallowy warm vanilla. So this has top notes of pink pepper, silkwood blossom, and jasmine sandback. Middle notes of whipped cream, vanilla, and chestnut. Base notes of sandalwood and cashmere wool sandalwood and cashmere wood so you can kind of see how much I've used and considering the size of my collection that's a pretty good dent um this fragrance is divine oh again it's like a creamy lactonic whipped cream but it has a little bit of spice from the pink pepper and sweetness and you definitely get the sandalwood that lasts a long time but it has like a hint of like raspberry or like some sort of sweet berry to it it's really nice and creamy and welcoming and it's a little bit like heavier on the skin it's not like a light fruity airy like it's definitely warm um because of the amber i'm assuming and it sits heavier i got a little bit of it in my mouth and it kind of tastes good but this is such a nice fragrance like if you hugged someone who was wearing this you would compliment them and it does have a good projection as well Anytime I wear this, I get compliments. It's like a warm, creamy, almost like raspberry whipped cream with sandalwood. Love this. Highly recommend. Let's talk about some classic OGs, starting with Chloe by Chloe. <laughs> so this is a really nice fragrance and I love the little bow on it. Like, love to see it. So this is a more floral fragrance but it's a nice sweet fruity floral so this has top notes of peony lychee and freesia middle notes of rose lily of the valley and magnolia base notes of virginia cedar and amber let me spray it on this side oh it's so good so this to me smells like fresh fruity laundry with white florals and powder it's really really nice i think it again very signature scent worthy, perfect for the daily. I think this is a non, again, I got a whiff of it in my mouth. This is a non-offender, and I think this would smell good on a lot of people. It's, again, kind of like a heavier scent because of the amber in the base, so it's not like in the air and dissipating. It's very close to you. It's like a warm fragrance. I think this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. I love wearing this and wearing this to bed as well is very comforting. That's a good word for it. It's a comforting fragrance, like white, floral, fruity, musky fragrance. And I think wearing this on the daily would be fantastic. Highly recommend Chloe. Another classic that we'll talk about is Black Opium. 
However, I have a travel size of the Black Opium Regular, but I want to speak about this one and the Le Parfum, which I speak about in like almost every video. So this Black Opium is a classic and I think it is definitely signature scent worthy. It's a crowd pleasing, highly sold fragrance for a reason. It's so sweet, pink, peppery, chocolatey. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just, it's phenomenal, Black Opium. But the Le Parfum has top notes of pear, cinnamon, and green mandarin, middle notes of solar notes, jasmine sandback, and orange blossom, base notes of Madagascar vanilla, bourbon vanilla, vanilla absolute, coffee, vanilla orchid, and patchouli. So the Le Parfum is like a vanilla coffee sensation. It is so sweet, warm, comforting, like a warm vanilla hug in the nighttime while you're surrounded by a blanket and you have a cup of coffee next to you. It's so nice. So this one, the original Black Opium is a little bit more of like a fruity take. The Le Parfum is much more heavy in the vanilla. So depending on which note you prefer, if you like something a little bit fruitier, Black Opium would be great. If you want a little bit more vanilla present in your fragrance, the Le Parfum version is phenomenal. Highly recommend to anyone. Another classic here is from Replica by Maison Margiela. This is by The Fireplace. So this fragrance is... Mm, it's popular for a reason. This fragrance is so good. It's so good. So this has top notes of cloves, pink pepper, and orange blossom, middle notes of chestnut, guyac wood, and juniper, base notes of vanilla, peru balsam, and cashmere. In. This smells like a warm vanilla, smoky, sweet, a little bit spicy fire. It is so good. This smells good even in the summer which you wouldn't necessarily think of pairing this fragrance in the summer but this is so flattering year round you could wear this every single day and you just smell like warm fireside vanilla marshmallows it's it's a top seller for like a very very good reason if you have not had your nose on this yet i highly recommend it it's really great. When I wear this, I constantly get the whiffs of like the vanilla and I'm like, what is that? That smells so good. Oh, it's me? <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. I also recommend any dupes that you can find of it. One dupe that I have is from Latafa. This is Amir Al Oud. So this is a dupe of it. It's not 100% the same, I think this one lacks a little bit of vanilla. So if you have a vanilla fragrance and you mix it with this, I think you could recreate this. This on its own smells nice. It's like a smoky fire smell, but it's missing the vanilla. So if you paired it this with any vanilla that you have, even the Kayali uh, vanilla or um, Maud vanilla from Ariana Grande, I think this would take this to the next level. So I often do that. All right, what's next? Well, let's talk about dupes since I kind of got there. This is a fragrance that I would love to have, but I'm more than satisfied with the dupes of it. And I think we all know what we're talking about. It is Baccarat Rouge 540. The dupe I have is Zara Red Temptation. I also have one from Dossier. I also have one from another brand. And actually I have one from two other brands. I probably have four or five of these because they're so good. If I had to recommend one, I'd probably recommend the one from Zara or Dossier. Those two, I think, are the best of the dupes I've tried. So this has top notes of saffron and jasmine, middle notes of amber wood and amber gris, base notes of fir, resin, and cedar. It's just so good. Like, need I say more? Like, it's a saffron, watery, sweet amber tree fragrance it's so good like this i would wear this every single day if you have not smelt this this is something that you can absolutely blind buy especially from czar because it's so accessible and so easy to get you can 100 percent blind buy this and be more than satisfied and you could wear this every single day and people would compliment you every single day it is such a good fragrance and definitely 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 signature scent worthy however i do think every perfume from maison francis Kurdijan is signature scent worthy 
every single one. And I have my eye on a few. All right, back to some classic popular fragrances. My Burberry Her, that's the front side, Elixir. You knew this was going to be in the video. This is like crack. They must have put crack cocaine in this bottle because it is <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so this has top notes of strawberry and blackberry, middle notes of jasmine, base notes of vanilla, amber, sandalwood. This is like a strawberry, raspberry, creamy milkshake. <sighs> I need this in a candle. I need this in a body lotion. I need this in a room spray. I need this in a hand cream. I need this in every possible delivery system. That smells good. I think this is like also in my top five perfumes of all time. It is spectacular. If you like the regular Burberry Her, I urge you to get the Elixir for more staying power and for more projection. I'm trying to see if I can see through the bottle, but I can't. But you can, he can you hear it? You would only be able to hear it if there's room for it to swish and shake. So this is so good. I have a backup of this. This is like that girl. She's that girl. Again, popular for a reason. All right, next let's talk about another popular one. This is Jadar by Dior. This is one of the few bottles I keep the lid on because I think without it, it's a little bit incomplete. This is this is the vibe. This is Jadar by Dior. Love the name of it. So this guy has notes of jasmine sandbag, green notes, magnolia, honeysuckle, neroli, and rose. It is. Although the sound, whenever I open the cap, makes it sound like it's going to break. <laughs> I don't understand how there isn't pear in the notes of this. This to me smells like pear white flowers with rose in the bottom and there's honey nearby. It's so sweet. So this is like a lighter airier fragrance compared to the other ones that I was speaking about. This I think is perfect for the daily. It's welcoming, it's white floral, which is very popular. Like I mentioned, a hint of rose, but it's not too overpowering. The dominant feature in this to me is pear and honey. And I think that combination is fantastic. So it's like a fruity, warm, floral fragrance. It is divine. And this is very, very easily accessible because all perfume stores should probably sell this. And it is really, really nice. I would recommend this to anyone who's looking for like a, a new fragrance to try if they don't have it already. It's the pears for me. Like it smells like pear laundry sheets. It's so good. I highly recommend J'adore. Obviously I recommend all of these because that's what I'm talking about in this video, but you know what I mean. Another one from a popular brand here is from Narcisco Rodriguez. I wish more people talked about this brand because their house of perfumes is phenomenal. I have four of their fragrances and it's so good. This one specifically is, oh gosh, I should probably tell you the name of it. Um, this is Narcisco Rouge. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> okay. So this has top notes of iris and Bulgarian rose, middle notes of musk, tuberose, and orange blossom, base notes of tonka bean, vanilla, white cedar extract, cedar, sandalwood, and vetiver. Oh, this is so good. So this is a powdery fragrance, so you have to like a powdery note in order to like this. This also to me smells very spicy, but there's no spicy like pink pepper notes in it. This to me is a spicy powdery vanilla cedar. So like maybe you get a little bit of the pine or spicy from the cedar. This is so sultry it's the powdery notes for me it is wonderful it is a little bit i don't want to say intense but it is like out there i think wearing this on the daily would be fantastic it's like a sweet pink peppery powder fragrance i can it's so good it's sweet woody 
spicy. It's so nice. And the other fragrances that come in this line, so there's like a poudre one and like a creme one, I think. I have them. There's like a white bottle and a peach bottle. Those are also really good, but this one is the most kind of like papau of them. This is really, really nice. Really nice. I would wear that every day without a shadow of a doubt. It's very nice, but it is a little bit more unique. Um, so be sure you smell that before you blind buy it. I didn't, I blind bought it. <laughs> um, another one from Burberry. This is like the one I like to gatekeep a little bit. This was the first perfume that I really, really loved. And this is my Burberry Black. So this is a unisex fragrance and it smells good on anyone. This has top notes of jasmine, middle notes of peach rose, and base notes of amber and patchouli. Do you see this? Cute little bow. Stop it. Stop it. Be so for real. I missed my arm. <laughs> this one is so hard for me to describe. It's a boozy, peachy amber. If I was going to a speakeasy, this is what I would put on. It's like a boozy cognac with a hint of rose. So like maybe there's like a, a dozen roses at the bar. Maybe someone's smoking a cigar on the other side and you have like a peach cocktail. <laughs> it's so good. And it kind of teeters the line between being light and heavy, which is a really interesting combination. It's so I would wear that every day as well, duh. But highly recommend my Burberry Black. Highly, highly recommend. The next one we're gonna talk about is something that I've never seen anyone talk about, um, which is kind of disappointing because this is fantastic. This is from All Saints. Oh, you can't, it's getting blown out. This is Concrete Rain by All Saints. It has this beautiful flower um, through the back. Fantastic. So this is a unique scent in my opinion, and the notes are very, very minimal. The notes are papyrus, magnolia, and juniper. Just those three seldom notes. But this concoction, fantastic. Mm. This is like a warm, sweet cotton with fresh rain on the concrete. It's so unique, but it's so warm and smooth and you almost get something lactonic in it too. It's just blended so well. Like it's a smooth, wet, white floral concrete. It's so good. And I don't think I'm going to be able to smell anything else because my Burberry Black is, she's strong. She's projecting. She's taken over the scent space. So I'm not going to spray anything else. <laughs> but I love this. This house has really good fragrances. I own two of them and I've smelt quite a few of the other ones. And I think they are all fantastic. I don't have any complaints about them. And it's quite an affordable brand as well. So I think this was, what is this? This is 100 milliliters, and I think I paid less than $100 for it. So it's really, really, really good. If you're Canadian, you can get this at Shoppers. So onto the penultimate fragrance. This is another one that I kind of like to gatekeep a little bit. Again, this is definitely my top five. This is Kayali Invite Only. Amber, Invite Only Amber. This has top notes of tobacco leaf, sour cherry, honey, chocolate, hazel, chocolate and hazelnut. Middle notes of salen cinnamon, may rose, damask rose, and citrus leaf. I don't realize how many fragrances had rose in them. Base notes of amber, agar wood, which is oud, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cipriol oil, or nagarmatha, not nagarmatha, patchouli, and musk. This is impossible for me to describe. Just know that she is that girl. She is a 
peppery, chocolatey, rosy, woody blend of deliciousness. This is what I want to smell like every single day of my life. Like, if I could only keep one perfume, this is quite possibly the one I would keep. That's a big claim. I have a lot of perfume. That's a big claim. This is so good and that is why I gatekeep it low-key, high-key. The last one I'm going to talk about is quite possibly the most affordable fragrance in this video and also one that gets completely overlooked. Again, my Canadian girlies, you can get this at Shoppers. This is from Michel Germain and this is Sugarful and Spice. I don't know if this is available elsewhere because I'm pretty sure this is a Canadian brand. But correct me if I'm wrong. This is top notes of blood orange, pink peony, ginger, pink pepper, vanilla, and amber. And can you see how low my bottle is? This is perfection. God, I have to spray it. I'm going to spray it on my pants and waft it. This is a sugary, sweet ginger amber. But I don't even think that tapped encapsulates it well. It's kind of like an orange creamsicle cotton candy with vanilla and amber. It's so good. This is such a, this would be such a good signature scent. And on my skin, this lasts such a long time. Like I'm talking six to eight hours. And this perfume I think is like $65. It's so good. Again, I gatekeep it a little bit. Do I want to include it in this video? I'm not sure, but this is something else I could see myself wearing every single day and have no issue with that. Like absolutely no issue. Like if I picked my top, oh, actually I'm going to film a top 10 video and you'll see a lot of these in that video. So this is fantastic. This is, it's really great. I recommend it. So those are the 16 recommendations that I have for signature scents if you're on the hunt. Obviously there's more options out there but I'm talking about things that I have in my collection presently in front of me. Let me know what your signature scent is if you have one or if you have a few. Let me know. I'm super duper curious. Thank you so much for watching. I would urge you to subscribe so you can see a top 10 video coming out maybe soon. Maybe we'll see, save that for year end but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these. Let me know what you're wearing today. Let me know your signature scent. Thanks for watching. You should subscribe if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.